So this is my newest project. It's a Wi-Fi analyzer. So basically it analyzes all the Wi-Fi connections near you and the channels where these connections are held and will show you the noise on each channel and what is the best channel you can host your Wi-Fi at. We'll go into the details of making this project. Firstly, how you build the prototype, just see if it works for this display and switch a bunch of colors just to get it straight as I wanted. And the refresh is once per five seconds. So this is the code. You have to select firstly the board, which in my case is D1 Mini, as in my previous projects, and also you have to select the port, but in this case I don't have anything connected to my PC, so I'll see you later. Com1, libraries, and I've defined a new one for my uh, display, which is ST7789, but if you have another display you can use the other ones. Uh, Originally, this project had a count sleep, so it will take a deep sleep after five refreshes, but we didn't use it anymore. Again, using Adafruit GFX for the display. And the final for my display, which is ST7789. You will see further the wiring for this project. I have a separate case for it. The colors for my displays are defined as ST77XX and if you have the other one which is using ST7735 you can use the ones that are above. Here also we are initializing the display and the invert display is false because if you will keep it true you will see like where you have black it will be a white color so you can't really see anything so that's why we need false on invert and tft begin and for the set rotation is because i want to set it backwards like in order to plug my micro sd on the top And here also you can set your columns, your colors. Sorry for the fill screen. It's black. Originally it was blue. I set it to black. And the text colors can be white. Also you can set the banner colors. Here you can set also uh, on the clear graph and the display to be text color will be black and everything will be black once it refreshes every 5 seconds. And text color again is set to white after the refresh for the Wi-Fi. And the delay is 5 seconds for each refresh. Here I've commented out the power saving because I wanted to refresh every 5 seconds in loop like for eternity.
I had here a very large breadboard, so I had to cut it. Just for prototyping, here are the measurements for the case. And started to prototype, started to solder all the connections. Firstly, I'm soldering the D1 Mini. the PCB, it's a PCB, so really not breadboard. And I'm not very good at soldering, as you can see, but it worked eventually. So after the D1 Mini, I decided to use headers for the display so I can repurpose it yeah, on a future project. So I don't want to, to solder the display directly to the PCB. And then this is a bit messy. <laughs> I've done all the wiring at the back of the PCB and also I needed to add some hot glue just to keep them in place so this is like the final measurements with the help of a bit of magic cut the box and assembling all the components and then the testing it's not as smooth as I want it to be but it does the job I don't own a 3D printer, so that's why I have to cut all my plastic boxes for my projects. So it's somehow flash, which is good. It works for its purpose. It will stand on my desk all the time, so... And it's quite portable. You can bring it in a backpack or in a pocket. It's a small enclosure. So, yeah, it's a very handy project and it helps to learn more about Arduino and this place and if you like this project please follow my channel and subscribe. I'll see you soon on another project.